Hey guys, we're going to look at another creepy uh, paranormal video today. This one has been sent to me for a long time, but I'm just now getting to it. Um, the original video calls it a witch, but to me, it does not really look like a witch. I've got it here a couple times, and then it's going to zoom in and slow down. It kind of gets filtered so you can see it better. But uh, yeah, this I have an idea of what this is, but it does not look like a witch to me. It looks like something much worse that I'm about to get into. I'm going to be going through more of these kinds of videos soon. I'm catching up on them. We're going to go again into the Oldry family bestiary, my ancestors' album of the different creatures held in St. George's Keep. If you've been following, you might know what I think it is. It is the physical summoned demon, shown here in its cell, held by binding sigils that kept it in place without chains. Now this is a monstrous entity of nefarious chaos that only causes damage and destruction and death. These are primarily spiritual entities, but they can be summoned to the physical realm. It's a very ancient practice, uh, goes back thousands of years by different occultists, sorcerers, or warlocks, and I believe that that is exactly what happened here. Ever heard of a place so haunted, even the bravest souls fear to tread? Today I'm going to tell you about the island of Pavilia in Italy, a place so terrifying it's completely forbidden to visit. Its history is dark and harrowing. From serving as a quarantine zone for plague victims to a mental asylum where a doctor performed horrifying experiments, Pavelia's past is enough to send chills down anyone's spine. But wait, there's a twist. Only those brave enough to like and share this video will find out what makes this island the most haunted in the world. So do you dare to know? Stay with me till the end. This will shock you. Here's the chilling fact. It's said that the doctor who performed gruesome experiments on patients in the mental asylum was driven to madness by the island's spirits. He leapt to his death from the bell tower, and his ghost is said to still haunt Povelia. So remember, every place has a story, some more terrifying than others. Like, subscribe, and share for more spine-chilling tales. Stay safe, everyone. Lil Uzi Vertical's long-awaited concert tour has officially begun and some fans are saying they felt like they were a part of some type of ritual. Now before I show you the rest of the clip, you heard that girl say that Uzi has a game to play how many times can you say his name and she says it six times. Now if you keep repeating his name Lil Uzi Vert, it starts to sound like the name Lucifer and it's no coincidence she said it six times, the devil's number. Now watch the rest of this clip and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on the rest of his concert tour. Let's talk about the hauntings of the Delta Bestboro Hotel. Thank you to Shayna for the suggestion. The Delta Bestboro Hotel in Saskatoon has plenty of stories of hauntings. One story is the spirit of a bellman who either accidentally fell or was thrown to his death, cracking the marble floor below. Apparently, you can see the ghost of the bellman on this spot. Another story is that late at night, a friendly man in a gray suit and fedora can be seen on the ballroom floor, greeting people who pass by. There are also rumors of many hauntings on the third floor of the hotel. This includes guests feeling as though they're being watched, feeling uncomfortable, as well as hearing the ice machine on the floor being used with nobody there. There's also the story of a small, tired-looking woman with disheveled hair and torn clothes. She remains quiet and unnoticed if left undisturbed. However, if someone makes too much noise or attempts to communicate with her, she runs up to them, screams, and then vanishes. In the stairwell, there are apparently sounds of laughter from a group of children playing, but nobody can be seen. These and many other stories make the Delta Bestboro Hotel a spooky place. Son las 3 de la mañana. Hace 3, 4 días fácil que no puedo dormir. Se escuchan ruido por toda la casa y no sé qué hacer. Yo no creo mucho esto. Me, no me da miedo, pero no sé. Grabo a cinco... ¡La concha de su madre! ¡Ahí está! Ah, ¡Qué carajo anda ahí!
Es la nena esa de mierda de vuelta. Yo me voy a la mierda. This is the most dangerous book in the world. This book, named Al-Azif, is touted as the most perilous tome ever penned. Delving deep into the mysteries of black magic from ancient pre-human civilizations believed to be satanic in nature, it dates back millions of years before the advent of mankind. This ancient lore, echoed in the Quran, speaks of jinn that once roamed the earth before the first humans, Adam and Eve. The book not only chronicles these diabolical civilizations, but alarmingly details ways to communicate with such beings, which is deeply unsettling. It's believed that the average lifespan of a jinn is around 5,000 years. Almost all copies of Al-Azif, available in various translations, were incinerated, leaving just a singular copy secured in the Vatican Library, accessible only through a highly classified permit. The mind behind Al-Azif was Abdullah al-Hadrad, a Yemeni poet born in 685 who met his demise in 735. Widely referred to as the Mad Poet or Insane Sage, legend has it that he wielded the dark magic he gleaned from the jinn malevolently. His fate? A horrific retribution from the jinn who sent a creature to mutilate him before spiriting away his remains. It's a book I, for one, would never wish to peruse. This video from Peru supposedly shows giants on a mountain. Wait until they stand up and let me know what you think in the comments. Do you believe these are giants? Leave a like and follow me for more. The OP of this video said that this video has been on their phone for a while and they were going through their phone the other day, watched it, and saw what they captured. If you watch very closely right here, you'll see something really strange around the corner of this door. At first I thought that maybe it was just an object sitting on the other side of the door and when you zoom in on it, it almost looks like a faceless person peeking around the corner. I went back and watched the video again and there is a part in the video where they show that area and there's nothing there. But then they capture this thing. Do you think this is a ghost caught on camera? Or what could this be? Let me know. Don't forget to like and follow for more creepy content.